Welcome to the question and answer session. We have a special guest today, Jesus of Nazareth, a traveling rabbi. Can we have our first question, please? Good evening. My name is Ezra ben Nehemiah, and I am a teacher of the law from Jerusalem. My question is, ahem, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law? How do you read it? Uh, love the Lord your God with, and love your neighbour. Do this and you will live. Uh, a, a supplementary question, Rabbi. Uh, who is my neighbour? A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. Ah, literally going down. Jerusalem is 2,500 feet above sea level, and Jericho is 800 feet below sea level. Perhaps someone could tell me what that is in meters. The man was attacked by robbers, who stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and left him half dead. Well, it was his own silly fault for taking that route. It's a rocky place, with lots of places for robbers to hide. Quite a reputation it has. A priest was going along, but when he saw the man, he crossed over and passed by the other side. Perhaps he was going to Jerusalem to perform a sacrifice. If he touched a dead body, and if the man looked at as if he was dead, he couldn't take the risk. He would have been ceremonially unclean, and would not have been able to do his God-appointed job. A Levite was going all along, and but when he get, saw the man, he too crossed over and passed by on the side. Perhaps he was going to Jerusalem as well. If he were made unclean by what he thought was a dead body, he would have been unable to get to the temple for worship. Then a Samaritan came along. Oh, horrible man! If he was a Samaritan, he was half Jew and half Gentile. To my mind, that makes him half human as well. I hate him. He put ointment on man's wounds bandaged him and put him on his donkey. Oh, that was a bit silly. If the man had no clothes, there would be no way of knowing if he was rich or poor, and so no way of knowing if he would get anything out of helping him. Also, there was no way of knowing where he came from or what he did. He took the wounded man to an inn, where he gave the innkeeper two coins to keep the man and promised to pay any extra expenses when he next passed. Oh, foolish Samaritan! That would make be enough to keep him in the inn for two whole months. How would he know whether the wounded man would take advantage of him or not? How would he know whether the innkeeper would take advantage of him? Also, it doesn't sound as if he knew much about economics. Which one was the neighbour to the man? I suppose it was the one who helped him. Go and do likewise. I notice you haven't answered the question. It was, who is my neighbour? But you have answered the question, who am I a neighbour to? Just go and do likewise. Well, we have come to the end of our question and answer session. Join me next week when a Levite will be asked taking questions about his role in the temple and all the rules related to that. But for now, goodbye and God bless.